Delphi, and welcome to the Modus Super Series. First of all, what's it like to be here? Uh, exciting. I played in the last uh, event at Southampton, but this, very impressive, really. Of course, this is a bit of preparation for yourself ahead of the World Series. Where's the game at at the minute? Um, well, I I've not been practicing that much, um, sort of wanted to get back into it, so I, I accepted the invitation here, and now it's sort of like I've got the buzz back a little bit, and then uh, this this week, and then next weekend um, at the seniors in Reading as well, so I'm looking forward to it. What's this competition doing to the likes of yourself, Tony, the other players who perhaps don't want to go travelling around the circuit, but have the opportunity to still play competitively at a high level? Oh, it's 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 a great opportunity. Um, you know, we've we've been travelling around for years and years, and then COVID struck, and then sort of them two years was blank, nothing going on. So, for, I know me and Tony have personally we sort of dropped off, dropped off the edge of the planet a little bit. Uh, but now to get back into this, the, the you know the Super Series and the Moda Super Series is, is fantastic. It's great for us. And just finally, any expectations this week? We're we just going to take it one game at a time. Um, yeah, take it one game at a time. But I'm quite hungry actually. I'm quite ready to ready to get going and fight for it. I'll never give up. I'll always gi I'll always give them 100 percent. So if they don't go, they don't go. If they do, look out because I can still play darts. We look forward to watching you play, Dal. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Daryl. Work. Daryl, you require 30. I've just seen a list of people like what Terry Jenkins actually did in the game. And this morning, I've just been looking at the CV of Daryl Fitton. Games on the first leg. It really, really Darryl is the Fitton. who's who. It's on the telly. You'll find out more about that a bit Games later on. Games on the fourth leg. Adam Lipscomb. Adam Lipscomb. Pretty much same play. Target. A very, a very polished match. performance from Adam Lipscomb. Adam Lipscomb. The man that sometimes goes a little bit under the radar with all. Vince, welcome to the Modus Super Series. Looking forward to it? Very much so. Yeah, heard a lot about it. Can't wait to get on with it now. For those of you who may not have seen a lot of you play, just explain a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your game. Uh, well, the short story is I've been playing since I was 17, but I joined the Army, so I did 22 years in the Army, didn't really play an awful lot. Um, by the time I left the Army, 2006, I then picked the game up again. Played a lot in the uh, Hampshire Leagues, and Super Leagues, uh, in Kent Super League, Kent County for a, for a few games. Um, and then really just played on all of the major sort of England Opens, the Celsi Camps, the, you know, that, that's where I like to play. Lots of darts over a short period of time, good long weekends of darts really. So, and when a seniors tour came along, it just sat really perfectly for me. I thought in order for me to play my best, I need to be playing against quality players all the time. So. Uh, that's why I joined it last year and I've, I've loved it ever since. It's been good. What has that done for your game? Has it helped you with things, obviously, getting invites here in other tournaments? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it is a great, you know, stepping stone, really, for, for other tournaments. First of all, the quality is so good. Um, so I always try and encourage other people that's in their 50s, you know, if you're not going to go down the PDC route, you're still going to play quality players, quality darts. So the seniors tour, exactly. If it opens doors, great. Um, but... They're doing such a lot behind the scenes, you know, with the, with the seniors tour. Still in its infancy, but you can just see it growing. It's really good. Well, we wish you all the best this week, Vince. Good luck. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Ooh, Better to see you as a commentator as the big fish. And it's now called a double 11 for Tiffle. Game show on the second leg. Feeling Vince so Tiffle. much better about himself. No Nervy score. darts, and so McGinney comes Mark back for the double 10 20. to get over the line. The group favourite wins his opening match. match. It wasn't convincing, Mark but he got over the line. Mark McGinney, a 4 on Victor. Mark, welcome to the Modus Super Series. First of all, how excited are you to be here? Very excited. Thanks for the invite. It's... Uh, I, I travel about with a couple, Dad and Johnson and obviously Martin Turner, and they said, you need to get on this. So an invite come, and in all fairness, I had an invite earlier, and I didn't pick my email up, but so glad I helped my email, and I'm glad to be here. For those who have maybe not seen you before, just explain a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your game. I've, well, I've been on pro tour. I've, I met world championships. I've been to quarterfinal at UK Open. A few years ago, but I still throw the darts. 
ex-county player. There's a story behind that as well, but I'll tell you that after. But uh, I'm still doing local comps. Went to York uh, last weekend. Adam Warner, you know Adam mm -hmm. Warner. He beat me in the second round, 4-2. So quite well, it was close, but <laughs> he's a quality player, isn't he? And just finally, you're looking forward to these next couple of days. And what's your expectations going into this? I just want to enjoy it. We've got Will Senior qualifier for Will's next week. So obviously it's a good practice session for that. But who knows? Who we knows? We wish you all the best, Mark. Good luck. All right, thank you. How many times have we seen this finish this week, Henry? We'll just sit on top of that. And you know it feels good when they're going. Game's on the first He'll be feeling leg. so much Mark better about Lawrence. himself. Will Nitro, the former practice partner of Dennis Priestley. Hours and hours and hours. Second against Tony to throw first. Practice with Dennis. Shea returns for that target. Game's Finds that target leg. right Tony in the bottom O'Shea. corner. And back we go to free. And it would hurt even more if his treble 18 goes in. And it's right plumb in the middle. And Game two darts there from Mark the Lawrence. Match. Opportunity Mark knocks Lawrence. there for Lawrence. Disappointment for Oshin. Madhouse. That's not a bad lie. Not a bad leg. lie at all. Adam one Litscombe. up, one in for Adam Litscombe. And it's a two. The side there, you should know. 82. Or maybe it was just, actually, maybe just looking what Vince was on. Because what a dart that is. Game show the third. Couldn't get any far in the Vince corner for Vince Tipple. Tipple. He'd be feeling so much better about himself right now. He opened up very, very, very slowly well, against McGeaney. Get Where's it done in 13 if he can convert this. Double 12. 14 will do. Game and Adam Litscomb secures a 4 1. When's Stowell's birthday? Um, that's an obvious one. It's the 5th of May. I think it's the 5th of May. When's Tony's birthday? Tony O'Shea's birthday is 9th of May. A few days later, but a year sooner, 9th of May, 1961. What's Dowell's karaoke classic? Um, I saw him at his 50th birthday party singing Mustang Sally, and he was very good at it, to be honest. Mustang Sally. What's Tony's karaoke classic? Um, Tony's karaoke classic is Bobby's Girl. Elvis stuff like that. <laughs> Who's had the most televised nine dart finishes? Mr. Darrell Fitton at the uh, Zadaran Masters and the Dutch Open. I've only had one. Uh, most televised nine dart finishes is Darrell. What's your nickname for each other? He calls me Fatty because that was a name I gave myself years ago. Uh, our nickname for each other is Fatty. Who played at the World Championship first? That would be me, 2001, about the 8th of January. Tony O'Shea played at the World Championship first. Uh, I went to watch him and then I realised uh, I can do this myself, so I started to travel. And finally, who's got the best walk-on song? Um, the best walk-on song between the pair of us, I think Tony's gets the crowd going. Um, They're still singing mine. Sort of today, out there, every tournament in the world. So I, I'm going to say mine, absolutely, hey, baby. <laughs> For Daryl Fitton. Game show on the third leg. And the Darryl door is Fitton. opened by the Dazzler, who leads 2 1. He's a player who's just managing to. Four play gets Daryl to throw first. Just find a way game in this on. game. He's just trying to get through the gears. Both kind of in neutral for the first couple of legs, but. Fitton looks as if he's the one who's going to turn the screw here. And turn the screw. With some perfect darts. Nice to have both of these here Saturday night, but it's double 14 for O'Shea. Game show. Something has happened in his game all Tony of a sudden. O'Shea. Just look at his reaction. Positive strength. 14. O'Shea falls short. O'Shea misses a dart, which in Dutch is called double act, to win the battle between this double act. But it's Fitton on double seven Game that wins the battle match. in leg seven. Darryl he gets Fitton. the better of his good friend Tony O'Shea by four legs to three. Covered it well there, but Lawrence is back for 50 to level this game back up. 18 Game for double 16. Mark Bish, Lawrence. bash, bosh. Yes. Yes. 
Double 16. The that is Subway. To now the 1 2 2. Triple 18. Double 18. Double 16. Seven from final against Mark McGee. Showbiz shooting for on. Mark Lawrence. I thought Mark Lawrence was following the dart on that last dart. And you can see that might have shook up McGeaney. We've seen this 160 this week, Henry. For the match. To win in style. Game Perfect style the match. for Mark McGeaney. Mark McGeaney. The dance of a gladiator to get the better of Mark Lawrence. A 160 out to claim the points. Double I hated, as you're already thinking, especially now. Oh, that's that, this could go in. This could go in. This would sum Tony O'Shea's week no up. Score. Thank you, Adam. It's only required 40 seconds. Ironically, that was a better miss inside than the miss inside on the nine, because at least he had a dart at the double with the final dart. O'Shea's going to get two at double 16. Now one last dart at double eight, which he converts this occasion. And so Lipscomb, now double nine. He's had troubles here before, but it comes fair. up trumps when he needs one. He'll be looking at double ten with two darts. Game and in a tail of missed doubles for Adam Lipscomb, Adam Lipscomb. he come good at the end. But oh, he's gone out so far. A fast, fast start for Mark Lawrence. A double eight. And after the one, two, eight. Game show on the first leg. And game. Mark Lawrence. From the Paul Hinks lookalike. Second leg. And once again, options. He's gone straight for it. So leave double one. Game show on the fourth leg. And any time I'm Lawrence. doing coaching, I said, don't be afraid to widen that target of three and seven. Mark Lawrence, 66. He has options and he has time. On this 66 to complete. A whip pro in performance. One dart at tops Game is all Mark Lawrence needs to Mark round Lawrence. off a superb. And he hit it. He was actually got a double 19. Chance for McGinney. He wasn't getting these opportunities and chances on Monday. Things were going against him. He even changed his dart halfway through Monday. Game show on the second what a dart that is. And when Mark you look at McGee. the killer darts and ones that really... Well, 16, Mark, you require six 20. wires bent. Mark McGinney, zero look this week. And now he's getting the opportunities because that's a beautiful marker. Just to move over the hockey, just a touch. And Game pummels that double 10. And quite embarrassingly, shakes his hand because of the respect he has for Daryl Fitton. It requires 16. Tony O'Shea says, why am I getting all my luck in one leg? And one Tony says, game shot in the second leg. Tony O'Shea. And a shake of the head. There's not an awful lot you can be saying about the quality from both of these guys right now, but it's 2-0 O'Shea. But it's Tony to throw first. And he doesn't need to tell game me. On. That's all he needs to focus on right now. Just get a couple of wins under your belt. And do them. Pitch you require 36. Frustration on his face. Vince Tipple to go one leg away. Game show on the fifth leg. Right in the middle. Vince Tipple. He had a disastrous checkout. They're trying on double four. Now twos. Game Never lose. And it helps the silver back towards victory against Tipple in a Game show on the third and McGinney leg. now takes More the two. for him the way he throws, but that is absolutely immaculate. He might be leaving the double six. It's Mark McGinney 100. in this top of the table class has the opportunity to real control of this group. And it's Mark Game McGinney played for one for Mark McGinney. At a very require 150. Henry's best moment of the day, double act for the double act of Fitton versus O'Shea. Will he stay there? He will for a 150 checkout. Game That's the way the to do it, Daryl Fitton. Darryl Mark Fitton. Lawrence claps his hands, taps his... Good sportsmanship between them there, but what Second a finish that is from Daryl Fitton. It's done, Mark, you require 154. It's 154 for Lawrence. Can he do a champagne finish? It's not a bad start. Certainly isn't. 
Okay, and from the 154, finish of Mark, Mark Lawrence, Lawrence to add to his 120, his 127, his 122. He's the man of the century finishes, he is. Bill against Mark to and throw Daniel first. Fitton looks, whatever you can Game do. On. Now he requires 32. In what has been a very enjoyable tussle. Great match play. Game it's Daryl Fitton that takes the 4 3 Darryl win Fitton. over Mark Lawrence. He's expecting the same outcome. Well, this leg is becoming a little bit insane. A Shea 85. Well, this wouldn't even be a steal. This should just be an armed bank robbery if O'Shea takes this. Goodness me, this is like the Hatton Garden heist of a leg. <laughs> Magini for a five star performance. Double eight. Game show. Five star, five wins. In Vince Tipple, this is exactly why the Moda Super Series works because players like Tipple gets an opportunity like this to show darts like this on the big stage Game in front of the cameras. Match. And this really Vince is impressive. Tipple. That's a 15 darter, it's 107 average. Where we were expecting another level, but this is this is why he's here, just to get everything together and to pull everything together. This one seventeen will be a real highlight moment. Game Put it on the show wheel. Daryl Fitton. The Vince is going to be very disappointed the way today has gone. But for Fitton to go on six points, he'd be happy with that. And real opportunities tomorrow. Game and it's shot Fitton. Out of the match. It wasn't the prettiest Darryl of the times. Chance. Mark required 36. For Lawrence. He stares out that double 18. Game shot on the second. Pings it with a plum. Mark Lawrence. Mark Lawrence. Mark required 40. For a 4-0 success to round the day off. Tens. Game shot out of the match. And Mark Lawrence puts Mark in Lawrence. a good performance.